turn number one, three wide will go for the top spot as Babcock, Prevo, and Fink for a moment. Here comes White to the inside of Fink on the back straightaway. Steiner in the mix in the number 13 is ahead into turns three and four. White trying to work it down low. Schneider opens the door. White going to try to make room. Can't get it done as they race up into turn number one. Tony Steiner in the NITAC, number 13 on the move, going after Larry White as they race after the 57 of Beth Snyder off of corner number two. Alan Fink right there with Lee Babcock running second, but it's all Kerr Prevo right now in the 111 out in front as Mark Tessario in the 2M taking it pit side. Into turn number one. Prevo still showing them the quick way around. Babcock there for second. Snyder in a good battle with the number 13 of Steiner. Right with him is the number 99 of White and the three of Kingsley as they head down into three and four. Petrovich getting in the mix in the number 85 as they work off the turn. Carner to the inside of him. And Petrovich holds off Carner as they race up into turn number one. Babcock going to take it to the outside as he tries to close in on Prevo on the back straightaway. Larry White is on the move. He's up to the four spot getting around Beth Snyder as Tony Steiner puts her back to position number six. Babcock on the top shelf looking to get around the 111 of Kurt Prevo. Couldn't do it that time. And Lightning Larry is going for third underneath Alan Fink as they race off a of corner number two. Now off the two, backstretch they go. Babcock closing in on Prevo. Can't get the job done so far, though. Into three. Now into corner number four. Prevo again working it down low. Babcock on the outside. And Babcock about the same distance he was last time as they crossed the start and finish line. So both lanes pretty even. Now as they head up into turn number one. White to the inside of Fink. Fink bobbles a little bit up there in the middle. Of one and two. And White's going to have a bye and oh is into turn three. Jason Okino in the number 20 pulling down into the infield area as they exit corner number four. They will complete lap number six this time by. And it continues to be the 111 of Kurt Prevo up into turn number one and two. Behind them, the 13 of Steiner going after the 3K of A.J. Kingsley for the five spot while Alan Fink still holding off the number 99 of Lightning Larry White as they work their way down off of corner number four. Babcock a little bit closer to the wall that time in the LMR racing number four machine still pedaling to keep after the 111 of Prevo. Babcock went down through the middle of turns one and two that time and lost some ground and here comes Larry White. White following Prevo through on the bottom of the racing surface seems to be the place to be right now as they work off of corner number four. Babcock and White right together as they head up into turn number one and White real consistent, real smooth working that inside lane and he will take the number two spot off of turn number two. Let's see what Lightning Larry will do with the Prevo 111 as they head into turn number three and four as the 13 of Steiner, the 3K of Kingsley now feel the pressure from the 85 of Steiner as they go after Alan Pink's number six J and look at Lightning Larry. He's on the top side looking to make something happen. Chasing after the 111 of Prevo as they head down into turn number three and four. When we come by this time, we'll be one third of the way home. Ten are down, 20 to go. So your leader is still that 111 of Prevo, but the 99 of Larry White getting quicker as he is searching around the racing surface, looking for a way around Prevo. Prevo better off at turn number two, but here comes White right back at him on the outside. Babcock still holds the number three spot. Fourth is Fink Steiner, fifth. And it's pitcher Kingsley and Petrovich in a great battle back there just outside the top five. New leader. Didn't mean to interrupt you, Mike. That's you're, okay. You're, you're flowing so well. <laughs> Larry White took the lead off the corner number four. He led lap number 11 as the Prevo 111 back to the inside of Lightning Larry as they come off the turn. Larry White a little bit better that time off of corner number four. He'll have the lead by a full car length as they complete lap number 12. Yeah, Larry White really working the middle of the racing surface well right now, but Prevo back on the inside, edges out in front on the back straightaway. Meanwhile, Jeremy Pitcher trying to take third away from Babcock as they head down into turn number three. Off of four comes your lead duel. They get together, and White gonna still have them at the line by about a half car length. Wheel to wheel up into turn number one and two is Prevo trying to intimidate the youngster, but Larry White says, okay, dude, listen, I'm going to flat foot it down into three. I'm going to pull even terms with you, and this is where I'm getting my run right here off the corner, and I'm going to make you earn it as they come down to the line. Yeah, I weighed a little bit higher that time off of turn number four, lost a little bit of ground to the Prevo number 111 as O2 continue to battle. Jeremy Pitcher starting to close in on the top two as they work off of turn number two. Now Steiner to the inside of Babcock. That's the battle for fourth, and Steiner will take it away. Kingsley right there. Fink and Petrovich as well, all looking to get around that number four of Babcock as they work off the corner. Meanwhile, Larry White 
back on the outside, back out in front here with 15 complete. As we are halfway home and it continues to be Jeremy Pitcher reeling in the top two. Tony Snyder has finally cleared Lee Babcock who bounced it off the back wall and the 3K of A.J. Kingsley to the inside as the pitcher MDV construction number 14 machine reeling in the top two. They're going to be in traffic in another half a lap or so as Moment Morris Matthews in the 46 right in front of the race leaders. And at corner number three, Larry White real strong at this end of the speedway, but it seems like one and two, he just can't find the grip as they work down the front straightaway. White again right alongside Prevo as they head up into turn number one. He'll work the middle, Prevo down low, looking for the magic moisture off of corner number two. He'll hold on to the top spot. Larry White, though, Ray right with him in a turn number three, and Jeremy Pitcher going to take it up to the top side of the number 14 as he is getting closer to those top two. Well, Pitcher knows he's going to have to go to the extreme top side as Larry White gets in front of the 111 of Prevo and shuts the door on him and starts to pull away. Once Lightning got in front, he went right to the bottom. A smart move as he took away the lane of Kurt Prevo, and he has now opened up a quick two-and-a-half car length advantage. Yeah, we have 19 complete, 11 laps remaining, and here comes Pitcher. Pitcher right on the rear bumper of Kurt Prevo as they come off a of corner number two and head down the back stretch, and they'll clear the Morris number 46. Now Pitcher will go to the outside. That is the battle for the number two spot. Pitcher slides it way out to the cushion as they work off the corner, and Pitcher, he'll take second here with 10 to go. Lightning Larry, very successful in the go-karts. He was very successful in the slingshots, now looking to make his mark in the sportsman division. Has had some good runs in 2007, and I do believe this would be his first win as he brings it off a of corner number four. Larry White down to the line in the Gypsum Express Stadium International Machine, and we have our first yellow on the speedway. On lap 21, it's Kevin Ridley. Things fired up. Larry White holding court right now, and we are back underway. Everybody back on the gas. Larry White up into turn number one. And Pitcher looking, immediately looks to the inside as they come off a of corner number two. But White keeps the door closed. Doesn't allow him to sneak on by there. Down into turn number three. Now Pitcher goes to the outside. Working the very same lane that Larry White used to take the lead as they work off the corner. White's going to open up two car lengths on Pitcher. Prevo's still there for third. And now Steiner closing in on him into turn one. Don't give him the bottom, and that's what he did as Jeremy Pitcher sees the opening, and he takes advantage of it as they went into corner number three and four. But Lightning's car is pretty good in that middle groove. Let's see what he can do with Pitcher as they come back to the line on lap number 23 with seven to go. It's Jeremy Pitcher in control. Yeah, Jeremy Pitcher took advantage of the rookie driver here in the number 99 as he snuck by him on the inside, and now he will not move off that bottom as they head down into three and four. Steiner going to go to the outside of Prevo as they work off the turn, but Prevo again also working that inside lane, holding on to the number three spot, but now they'll be side by side up into turns one and two, and Steiner way up the banking, and Prevo will pull away. And as they come down off of corner number four this time, we will have five laps remaining. Five to go for Jeremy Pitcher as he brings it to the line. Prevo still there for position number three with Tony Steiner riding in fourth. Petrovic sits in fifth. Carter is sixth. Kingsley is seventh. Babcock is eighth. Fink is ninth. Hang on to it, AJ. Don't park in there. Wow, Isabel just got by him. The seven and three almost became a ten up in corner number two. Pitcher still leads the way off of corner number four. White about three car lengths behind. Petrovic going to go to the outside on Steiner as they go up into turns one and two. Corner there in the number 44. C trying to close on him. Babcock way out to the cushion with Fink as they come off a of corner number two and head down the back straightaway. Donath closing in on Fink now. Donath looks to the inside. And Fink goes high. Donath in the 87. They'll go two wide off a of corner number four. Donath will have him by a nose here at the start finish line. Meanwhile, off a of corner number two, your leader continues to be the number 14 of Jeremy Pitcher. But Larry White not letting them get away as White's still very good through turns three and four. And he is staying right with Pitcher this time by. We have got two laps remaining. So two to go for Jeremy Pitcher in the number 14 as he continues to work the bottom of the racing surface. Larry White going to take it up another lane, trying to find some moisture, trying to find some bite as he wants to get back around. Jeremy Pitcher's ahead down into turn number three, but so far it is to no avail as Pitcher's got him covered. White flag is out one more time around. Prevo still holds the number three spot. Steiner there for fourth, fifth is Petrovich. Then it's Connor still for sixth. Backstretch we go for the final time. Pitcher five car lengths on Larry White as they head down into three. Final time into corner number four. Checkered flag is out, picking up the win. It's gonna be Jeremy Pitcher. 
Second will go to the number 99, of Larry White. Third will go to the 111, of Kurt Prevo. Then it'll be the Steiner, number 13, the 85, of Petrie.